Hello everyone, I'm John. Welcome to Titan Trading. You've probably heard about OTC stocks in the past, and we've all heard the tales of getting rich from penny stocks, or worse yet, getting taken by the pump and dumps or the scams involved with them. What is a penny stock? Well, generally speaking, a penny stock is any stock under $5, regardless of what market it's sold on. And most penny stocks are sold on the OTC market. OTC stands for over the counter. Like prescription, the OTC market is a decentralized market where stocks and commodities are traded between brokers that negotiate the price directly between themselves through computer networks or even over the phone. With out the supervision of any central exchange. This is very different than the open auction market system of the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange, where the price is controlled by the auction bids and asks. On an auction market, buyers and sellers enter competitive bids simultaneously. The price at which the stock trades represents the highest price that a buyer is willing to pay, and of course the lowest price that a seller is willing to accept. Over-the-counter trading means there is no auction market for the stock. Instead, individual firms declare themselves market makers in that stock. These brokerage firms buy the stock from the shareholders, mark it up, and sell it. The price a market maker is willing to pay for your shares is the bid price that you are using. And though the procedure is completely different for how the OTC handles stock transactions compared to the central exchanges, for the most part, from the trader's viewpoint, the actual act of acquiring or selling Selling an OTC stock is virtually the same as any other. And of course, the OTC stocks are governed by the FINRA and the SEC. Just to list on the major exchanges is a huge expense, especially for a very small company. Listing on the NASDAQ costs $75,000, and the list on the New York Stock Exchange runs over a half a million dollars. And on top of that, a company must meet stringent fundamental requirements for its business condition, as well as meet a minimum stock price to even qualify to uplist. So now that you know what the OTC market and penny stocks are, what are the benefits of trading an OTC stock? A great advantage to trading OTC stocks is that it allows you to trade startup companies, companies where you can find an opportunity that's not listed on the major exchange. Many are amazed to see the list of some of the companies on the OTC market. Would you believe that they are Nestle, Bear, Nintendo, L'Oreal, Heineken, EasyJet, Adidas, and yes, even the American-loved Anheuser-Busch, now that they have moved over into Europe. You see, most of these are foreign headquartered companies, which are not allowed to list on the major exchanges, so the OTC becomes their home. So with companies like that on the OTC, it should not be too surprising to hear that many stocks on the OTC market are priced at hundreds, thousands, even over $10,000 a share. You can buy an OTC stock for as little as 0 0.0001. That is one thousandth of a penny. So let's say that you were to actually buy $100 worth of a stock at 0.005, five one thousandth of a penny. If you hold that till it loses one of its zeros, 0.005, five one hundredth of a penny, that's 1,000% gains. That turns every $100 bill you invested into $1,000. However, if you continue to hold that stock until it drops another zero and goes to 0 0.05, five cents. That is now a 10,000% gain, turning your $100 into $10,000. However, it is just as true for the other side of the coin. The losses can add up very quickly when the price falls. Risk management is paramount. Remember, all those giant companies of today started out as startup companies. How would you have liked to have gotten involved with, say, Microsoft, Netflix, or even Amazon before they became household names? The OTC market provides us that sort of opportunity every day. So what are the concerns and risks involved with trading OTC stocks? Well, OTC stocks can be thinly traded and therefore can have less liquidity than the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ listed securities. The lack of liquidity can cause those wide spreads and can leave you with stocks that are hard, if not impossible, to sell for a profit or even 
sell it on. The OTC also has much laxer regulations for reporting standards in major exchanges, which means investors have less transparency and visibility into companies' operations. There is the risk that if a company does not file its financials in a timely manner, that it can be removed off the OTC market. There's also numerous OTC stocks that have bad credit make little money, are going bankrupt, and some companies simply have bad management that are seeking to take advantage of investors. So due diligence and research is highly recommended due to the risk inherent to the OTC market. So there you have it in a nutshell, the difference between penny stocks and OTC stocks in the major markets. I hope this has been informative and helpful. Be sure to check out our other Titan trading videos for more insight. Cheers, folks, and thanks for watching.